What's going on, YouTube? This is Sean. I am back again with part two of the Iron Man Mark 50 build. In the last video, I showed you how to do the chest. In this video, I'm going to work on the abdominal. Now, here are all the pieces laid out, which is the uh, abdominal and the cod piece, along with the guy string, because, you know, guys don't wear G-strings. And I already drew my inner patterns on and my undercut lines which I'm going to do a v-groove undercut now you can do um, a v-groove undercut like what I'm doing right now which is one angle cut and then the other cut is a straight cut we'll give it kind of like a uh, check mark or a slanted V angle cut or something like that or you can use a wood burner with a v-tip and just um, run, run it along the line and that should give you your, your v-groove undercuts but since I don't have my wood burner heated up and ready to go I went ahead and just did the v-groove undercuts and just apply some glue and be done with it now when you're doing this v-groove undercut you want to make sure you don't cut in too deep or too much because uh, if you do like two 45 degree angle cuts and then you're going to end up with a 90 degree angle bend and that's not what we're going for and of course you don't want to cut all the way through the foam for obvious reasons all right so now that i got all my pieces cut out and glued together it's time to attach all the pieces together i'm going to start by closing in the v groove undercuts first and then I'm going to attach the cod piece to the abdominal piece. Um, I know in my last Iron Man build, the cod piece and the abdominal piece was two separate pieces, but the way I retoppled the, this pattern from the model, it was easier to do it this way. And uh, I think it'd be easier to use the restroom in this Iron Man suit too, because restroom isn't built into this particular suit or the last suit either, but yeah. This kind of makes it convenient and it's a little bit easier to build this way too. Now when you ever mess up like I just did right here where my foam wasn't um, lined up evenly, I will just use thinner um, contact cement thinner and apply it with some syringe and it will break it apart. Now you don't even have to apply more glue, you just wait for the thinner to dry up and then reapply your pieces back together making sure everything is nice and straight on there just like that all right so this is the guy string and uh, I just put it together I did include this into the templates and I just wanted to show you how it goes on but I'm not going to use this I eventually ended, ended up taking it back out I'm just gonna use elastic with some velcro figured it might be more comfortable and here are the parts for the lower back and the butt piece, I guess. And uh, I'm going to start by attaching the two pieces for the upper back. And then I'm going to attach the part for the buttocks. And uh, it goes together just like that. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. Actually, I didn't repeat it. I actually did it in a different sequence. But... Either way will work, whatever is easiest for you. And then once I get all the parts put together, it's time to marry the two back pieces together, just like that. And notice I already have my inner patterns drawn out. I'm going to burn or trace those lines with a wood burner so I can get those additional details. And then I'm going to apply some heat so I can close the pores of the EVA foam and I'm going to also do some more foam forming with my PVC uh, cap thingy just like that and so far it's looking pretty legit I'm gonna make sure you get both sides just like that and this is to help curve the uh, buttocks area make it look better I know it's not Captain America's ass, but um, at the moment I'm more interested in uh, Iron Man's butt. Yeah. So far it's coming together nicely. Now I'm going to take my wood burner and then carefully carve in the the um, lines, detail lines. 
Now I'm using a V shaped tip for my wood burner and it's a little bit harder to control. I personally like using the uh, spatula bit where it's you have better control but it's not as thick so um, it's probably easier to do use the spatula bit first and then come back with the V bit afterwards which I didn't do here. Now the lines are really um, I mean I could have done a lot better with the lines but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I mean, I've already done it. Now I'm gonna remove that guy string because I told you earlier I'm going to use elastics instead with Velcro. I think it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. Then I'm going to use my heat gun and apply some heat to close the pores. Now a lot of people ask me, can I use a hair dryer? Well, a hair dryer will not get hot enough to uh, form or close the pores on the um, EVA foam and I'm using a heat gun from Home Depot which I don't really recommend but it's all I have at the moment and it does the job just fine I just don't like it because it doesn't turn off right away I have to hold down the power button to turn it off and it does get annoying now I'm gonna carefully go in there and burn the detail lines for the abdominal and this this lower line right here is a little bit thicker than the rest so I went and trace the outline and then I'm gonna go back in and uh, I guess fill in the rest of it but notice I'm not like going all accurate with it but it's okay I mean it's just cosplay pro as long as you know you get it somewhat like that and you're probably gonna do a lot better than me because I know, you, I know a lot of you guys are perfectionist and I'm not so here are the pieces that I'm going to use to extend the sides and I'm also going to put some velcro on there. Um, I know in the, on the template it's actually an extension from the actual pattern itself but I decided to just cut up some scrap foam and make it a little bit longer so that way um, I can adjust it in case you know I decide to gain a few pounds in between uh, wearing the Iron Man suit. And honestly, I don't even know why I keep saying myself. I'm not even gonna be wearing it. It made it way too big for me. This is actually going to go on my mannequin, which is about six foot tall, and I'm only five foot. Now I'm applying some contact cement to the backside of the, uh, the, the abdominal piece. Now this is actually gonna go over the other piece that I just glued. I'm going to attach some velcro to it but it all makes sense here in a little bit once I get it all together. Now that the glue is dried on the extension pieces I'm going to carefully align it and attach it to the side edges of the abdominal piece. It's going to go on just like that and you can actually make this piece a little bit longer depending on uh, the size of your beer gut. Um, this right here will fit my mannequin just fine and then I'm going to take some um, Velcro with some sticky back end that I picked up from Walmart. I like these a lot because they're very strong. Uh, I tried some other brands from Amazon and um, eBay and they didn't work as well as the one that I purchased from Walmart. But you want to make sure that it sticks really good and it doesn't come off of the foam and with the contact cement on the uh, EVA foam. Man, these guys are on there like almost permanently. Like I still have cosplay from years ago that's still stuck together. Now, if it's in the car or in the heat for a long period of time, yeah, it, it'll start to come apart. But I think that's with anything cosplay. And I'll also apply some Velcro right there. That's going to attach to the under armor suit. Now I'm going to apply the loop side of the Velcro onto the inside of the back piece. And essentially what this is going to do is going to wrap around the body and attach to the side pieces on the front abdominal piece. Notice I am measuring and trimming off my velcro pieces before I peel off the uh, tape. That way it doesn't get all over the place and then once it makes contact it's on there. Now I'm going to demonstrate how this will go together. I'm going to start by attaching the uh, sides right there and then right here on the other side you're just going to attach it now just pretend that there is a body in between this and it should look something like that 
and uh, yeah, it's starting to come together. Now I did make some extension pieces for the top edge, just in case, um, you know, it's too tall. Now I did not catch it on video, but it's actually tucked in underneath the chest piece, which you kind of sort of see if you look carefully, but it's not noticeable. And that's to keep it from popping out of the uh, chest piece. And it's supposed to keep it underneath there. And here is what it should look like once it's all painted and finished. And uh, only haters would think it's photoshopped. And if you think it's photoshopped, then you're right. I did photoshop the paint job on there. But I just wanted to um, see what it looked like once I get the paint on there and everything. So just kind of give you an idea. And uh, yeah, if this is what you're into, I mean, if you're really into this kind of stuff, then check the links in the description down below it leads you to the templates and other cool stuff and uh yeah i guess that's it for this video make sure you guys like subscribe comment and uh i'll see you guys in the next video